Hey yo. Normally I'd have a nicer setup than this, but I can't find my tripod right now. So I'm just gonna go with what we have. This is sketchbook number 12. We have the small Shiro sticker that I got from a local anime con. And the very first thing is a bunch of miscellaneous pages, which we are going to squish out of the way. Uh, for a cover page, I went back and did it a long time after, but that's me, Chiro, obviously. I have some goals that I was going to work on, the actual sketchbook, and then some other miscellaneous things on the side. Detroit Become Human, I was getting back into doing some watercolor. This is terrible, we are not going to lick this. Um... Read 900, obviously. More Detroit Become Human. Not sure what's up with this, but she has a very nice third eye. These are some OCs, and again, I was super into watercolor at this time. I think this is a thumbnail for a 30-day challenge that I was doing in February. Some Shiro, and also just some anatomy study. This is creepy. Uh, vent drawing, we're not going to talk about that. Uh, High Class Homos, which is a an excellent webcomic. I'll link it in the description. It's freaking amazing. But this is one of the main characters. She's so cute. And this is one of the other main characters. It's Bed O'Clock, You Best Be Sleeps. This is, again, one of the characters from that webcomic. And then my boyfriend dressed up. I don't know where we were going, but he looks very snazzy. More Detroit Become Human, a very small Connor. The blue-haired Tracy. Um, Simon from Detroit Become Human. This, I was getting more into watercolor where I actually did a long time on the line art beforehand, which was good. Um, this is the first piece that I tried with watercolor pencils that dissolve with water and then adding watercolor on top, if that makes sense. This is my sister and her friend, Cecil from Welcome to Night Vale. This is one of my OCs, so just some different facial expressions for her, and I'm sort of trying to design her character. Carlos from Welcome to Night Vale, and this page kind of sucks, and we're not going to talk about it. Um, some different faces, probably off Pinterest. Some more body study. Possibly more Detroit Become Human because, uh, obviously. Um, this is the 30 day challenge that I was talking about in February. And more of that. And then. I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure that's me as Cecil from Welcome to Night Vale, so there's that. One of my OCs, Darcy. More of this 30 day challenge. We don't like that page, we're going to skip over it. Um, other people's OCs off Instagram, obviously. Detroit, <laughs> vent art. These are some of my OCs, they are the sweetest little beans. Um, and also that's not focusing. <laughs> uh, they hunt ghosts, they are very cute. Um, people off of Instagram. I made this into a digital art page, which I think I put on my Instagram. More of that 30 day challenge. Me and my boyfriend went to the cosplay con, and I made him cosplay. Darcy, in her angel form. This was a bit of design work for this piece that I later did, which was for the 30 day art challenge. I was trying to do full pieces for 30 days, and that was a lot. Shiro and Matt from Voltron, respectively. This was for the prompt word, hangry, for that, and I... I freaking love, that's not the right dial. Freaking love this little guy. Hi, cat. Wait. One second. Cat. Moving on, we've got more of that 30 day challenge. I think the prompt word was water. And I spent a lot of time trying to figure out what drawing water was supposed to look like. Some people's OCs off Instagram. Uh... RK900 from the Detroit series. Not sure what this is, but I like that I'm finally getting into watercolor, that I'm doing watercolor first, and then the line art after. Mm. 
more stuff for the 30 days. And then this is one of my first pieces in Ohu markers. Because I got myself a set of Ohu markers finally. The Copic knockoffs. Some more watercolor, watercolor. These are OCs for a book that I've written. This is when I finally got into Boku no Hero Academia because my boyfriend loves it and we were watching it. Best girl. Um, OCs, baby. And then this is um, from when we went to Sukinokan. This is a character that somebody else created. And then this is Deku from Boku no Hero Academia. We have a whole page of uh, Kiron or Evil Shiro from Voltron because uh, apparently we're still not over Shiro's character design. And then this is some pages for the four ghost hunting OCs that I have. Some Detroit and then back to that ghost hunting OC from Voltron. These are just glued in on the other side because my markers were bleeding through. Um, and then the last OC. This is something that my little cousin drew me. She's six and very cute. Um, and then those four characters again. Just working on like their very base character design. I heck and love this. This is the uh, rough draft for what the ghost bad guy is going to look like for that comic. A lot of Boku no Hero Academia but drawn while I was watching the show so not really paying attention. Um. I went to see a play and these are some of the little tiny headshots out of the pamphlet of the actors in the play. The play was The Addams Family, so that's Wednesday. Oh! Oh! That's Wednesday. This is designed for a giant picture of Bakugo that I did that's on my wall and I have no regrets. This is a rare self-portrait. Oof. Um... This is just experimenting with acrylic on top of watercolor. Some wee designs for Boku no Hero. This is one of my favorite OCs. He's got the big wings and some more OC work. I actually went to the beach and was looking at the water when I drew this, so that's nice. And then a bunch of other random things. These are other people's OCs. This is the father from the Adams family. We're not going to talk about the Neko girl. We don't. We don't need that in our lives. Um, my boyfriend, some vent art. Ooh, and then finally getting back into Ohu markers, and just markers in general. So like trying to draw hair, trying to draw skin tones. <laughs> Boku no Hero fan fiction. We're not going to look at that. Um, a tiny a wee Deku, and best girl, of course. This is uh, the characters from my D&D campaign. So my boyfriend is our DM and I'm one of the players. So this is my character um, and then some of my other friends' characters. My friend has a dwarf who doesn't wear any clothes and has a giant door on his back. So there's, I mean, there's that. Todoroki, Ventart. I don't remember the context for these OCs. Hmm drawing some more like body shapes and stuff but of course we gonna be safe for work up in here this is acrylic in the notebook which didn't work very well because the actual pigment was just coming off everywhere this is tiny steve rogers and another rare self-portrait of me with tiny steve rogers <laughs> i'm pretty sure i was looking at references for that these are my three narrator OCs for the novel. Some other guys that are important. Clance, naturally. Also, we're out of focus again. And then, that might be it. Oh, we have some final Voltron crap and Shiro. And my OC. And that's it. Yay!